Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Today, thanks to Optics Warehouse, we are bringing you this, uh, the Delta Titanium 2.5 to 15 by 56 rifle scope. So, we've had it for a few months now. Uh, we've had it out in the field. Uh, we've compared it to uh, some other scopes as well. Uh, we thought we'd bring you our thoughts uh, and opinions on it. So, first things first, um, when you buy a Delta Titanium scope, uh, or by this particular one, you will get the scope and a set of bikini covers, um, which I'll quickly remove. It comes with a battery um, already installed, ready to power the illuminated reticle, which we'll come on to later. Um, but before we sort of get into the, the technical specifics of this scope, we should probably tell you a little bit about Delta Optical, because uh, I myself hadn't ever really heard of them before. Uh, they're a Polish company, uh, they were founded in 2002, um, all of their optics um, are made in Poland uh, but they're all sent to the DIVA uh, Institute uh, in Germany for testing. Um, we were sent this one by Optics Warehouse uh, because they were quite keen for us to have a look at it, firstly because it's a great value scope uh, retailing for just over £800, pounds. Um, but secondly because it boasts a light transmission uh, of 93%. So as a deer stalker, um, that was pretty um, uh, interesting to my ears. Uh, so we thought we'd get it out and have a look. It's also got 56 mm um, objective lens, uh, an illuminated reticle, uh, and quite a clever um, reticle as well. So again, all things that sort of tick the boxes um, for us as deer stalkers. Um, so if we sort of just run through all the different features of it, uh, the magnification adjusts like any other scope uh, in terms of it's got a, a um, twisting dial here. The only thing that is slightly different is, in my experience, most scopes you adjust uh, whatever level of um, magnification you want to line to correspond with a mark on the top of the objective um, lens up here. Um, instead, on the delta, you can see there's a mark on the side. So. If you want to set this to say seven power, instead of putting the number seven at the top here, you put number seven to round there, um, but you soon sort of get used to that. It's quite a nice smooth dial, uh, and there is a, a raised section here that makes it quite easy to um, uh, easy to grasp, which is great. Uh, magnification wise, plenty up to 15, more than enough for, for deer stalking, down to 2.5, great, because um, you can really then get quite a nice wide field of view. On the side, you've got a uh, side parallax, um, which adjusts um, all the way up to infinity, down from 15 uh, meters. The only thing I would say is that the, the dial is actually is really, um, really stiff. I, I actually can't turn it if I've got gloves on. Um, I really have to sort of crank it um, with my fingers. Sitting next to it uh, is the dial for the illuminated reticle, and that's got uh, 11 different settings on it. And What's quite clever about it is, you might be able to see, is between each one there is essentially a, an off switch. So instead of having to, if you were going to go up to say level 10, you don't then have to cycle all the way back down to turn it off. You can just twist it one notch round and it turns itself off. Um, but the very highest magnification, uh, sorry, illumination settings, the illumination did bleed out into most of the reticle, uh, whereas on the lower it, it's sort of confined to a, a very small pin prick right in the centre. Um, which is great. The reticle itself sits in the second focal plane um, and it's uh, it's got, uh, I think it's five hash marks um, beneath it. Um, they call it the 4ASB reticle. Um, and essentially it has subtension marks. We'll put a little insert um, in the video for you, uh, which means that if you see something at distance and you know what those hash marks correlate to in terms of your bullet drop, you can just simply adjust your reticle um, to one of those hash marks rather than having to mess around with a ballistic turret, which for a hunter out in the field, quite nice, um, quite quick and easy. And I know a lot of people prefer those two ballistic turrets, partly because they're less complicated and, and partly because it keeps the, the general sort of feel of the scope much smaller and much more compact. In terms of the turrets themselves, as you can see, they're, they're both capped in terms of windage and elevation. Um, very easy to sort of take off. Um, they adjust in uh, quarter MOA at 100 yards. Uh, it slightly confuses you because when you see um, the turrets themselves, they, they say that one click equals seven millimeters at 100 meters, which is uh, quarter MOA. Um, to adjust them, very simply, just twizzle them as per normal. And once you've got that set up, you can twist, uh, sorry, pull the cap up, twist it to where it is and pop it back down to set it to zero so that you know that that is then set 
uh, and then simply put the caps back on. Um, I found that the turrets adjusted absolutely fine. We did a sort of tracking test with it um, and it was absolutely bob on, which was great. Um, and otherwise, in terms of sort of functionality, didn't find any problems with this scope at all. Um, it is slightly heavy, um, so it's 778 grams. Um, it's also 366 millimeters long. Um, we happened to be testing a Leupold VX3, um, exactly the same magnification range uh, scope at the same time. Um, the Leupold is 120, 30 pounds more expensive, um, but is 100 grams lighter, uh, and I think uh, 10 to 20 millimeters shorter as well. So yes, you've paid a little bit more for the Leupold, but you do get a slightly smaller optic. At the same time, same time, I wouldn't say this this feels sort of too big or too bulky um, when it's on the rifle either. Um, we did test the light transmission on this scope, um, particularly as that was something that um, uh, Delta were very sort of keen to promote. And I would say that the light transmission is good. Um, what we found was that we compared it to a number of other scopes in sort of similar price classes. We also compared it to uh, some fixed magnification scopes and we've got an entire video on that coming out later. Um, but we did find that this, this transmitted light well, but the clarity at low light wasn't particularly good. So you found that um, you could see things, but you couldn't necessarily pick out de as much detail as you could with some of the other scopes. Now, that in some ways isn't fair because some of those other scopes were slightly more expensive and that, that's probably what I'd say in, in sort of defence of this is for £800 um, I do think you get quite a lot for your, your money. Um, otherwise there's not a huge amount more to say about this scope, um, very nicely built, um, very sort of robust looking scope with pla pla packed with plenty of features. Um, so you are, if you are in the market um, for a sort of solid good all round deer stalking scope uh, go and have a look. Um, that's the Delta Optical Titanium 2.5 to 15 by 56. Uh, you can get them plenty in stock uh, at Optics Warehouse, so go and check it out. As per usual, um, please remember to comment, like and subscribe.